Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. Every month, the Indiana Department of Revenue updates its cyber shame list. It highlights business owners who haven't paid their sales and withholding taxes. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper dug through that list today. And Chris, some business owners that you talked to say it's not fair. Yeah, Mark, they pay all their taxes, but their business name still ends up on the list. Today I discovered how that happens, and it has a lot of people furious. The Cyber Shame List contains the names of 25,000 Indiana businesses. 1,200 of those are in Allen County. The business owners on it haven't paid sales and withholding taxes, which makes up 75% of the state's budget. It's used for a whole host of different programs that essentially keep Indiana strong. I did find businesses like Woodhouse Day Spa on the list, where the current owner is all paid up on their taxes, but the old owner is the one who owes the money. But unfortunately, their business name goes on the list. We want to portray ourselves as an ethical business, and then when our name you know, shows up very high on that list, it's, it's hard. Sarah Lindemann is in her fourth year as the owner of the Woodhouse Day Spa. The owner before her has thousands of dollars in unpaid taxes, but because she took over a franchise business, she has to keep the name. She explained her problem to the Department of Revenue many times. They really, they really don't care. Unfortunately for Lindemann, the list is law, and until the old owner pays her debts, Woodhouse Day Spa will stay on the list. That does create some concern, but that is something that the business has to has to determine when it's making that purchase. The trolley bar and grill faces the same problem. The old owner didn't pay, the new one does, but his business keeps showing up on the list. Back at Woodhouse, Lindemann says it's frustrating, but there's nothing she can do about it. When people ask, you know, we just kind of have to tell our side of the story and hope they understand. If business owners don't pay their taxes, they'll eventually lose their retail permit. A list is updated every month. To see it, go to the business page of Wayne.com. Chris Hopper, News Channel 15.